right, well, let's get to our stock of the day. And we're looking at retail clothing group City Chic out with a trading update with both revenue and active customers in double digits, earnings in line with the prior corresponding period, tracking about $23 million. Uh, Chief Executive and MD Phil Ryan saying he's pleased with the trading results for the first half with strong revenue growth in all regions, despite well-publicised labour shortages and impacts to global logistics and supply chains. And today it is up 12% as we speak. Claude, City Chic, what are your thoughts? Well, um, obviously it was a good update. Uh, well, no, I don't know how good it was, but the market really loved the update today where they basically, uh, you know, perhaps soothed any fears around supply chain issues. It seems like, you know, they've been quite forward thinking and building up their inventory and they're still, they still say they have a strong inventory and they're building that, um, which has meant that they can keep selling um, even, you know, in the face of those fears. Um, they've, Having said that, I personally didn't think that necessarily the actual uh, the numbers were particularly impressive. So basically, what they're saying is that their underlying EBITDA, which is a pretty mm, questionable metric, but let's just use it because that's what they've given us, um, is in line with the prior corresponding period. And they say this is a good thing because they had uh, you know an impact from store closures and, and stuff like that. But you know, at the same time, like I think. Over the last few years, we're just going to see this evolution of companies that are always like, oh, don't worry about, you know, ignore the influence of the pandemic on our operations. Um, obviously, it has a mixed bag, gets more online sales, less in-person sales. You've got stimulus that gives people more money, all of these things. I think we need to move past the point where we're just backing out, like, the, the pandemic. This is the world we live in. At some time, it, it will be less of an issue for us, but whether it's waves of variants, whether it's, you know, less international travel, whether it's more work from home. There are a lot of these things that there's not going to be some day when like some one declares the pandemic over and then like, mm. oh, then you get back to have your other financial results. So I just tend to put that aside these days. I don't think yeah. the numbers were that great. Um, but that was what happened today. You know, zooming out, these guys are a um, in arguably a roll up of sort of plus size retail is their, is their speciality. And a few years ago, uh, they really were nothing much to look at. And then they got a new management team a few years ago. They've done a few uh, disposals and then acquisitions, built up the profit and uh, made it more of a global company. And and then, you know, at the end of last year, the CFO uh, left the company sort of unexpectedly. And I, I think that, that maybe you can see that sort of effect in the chart. Maybe people started worrying a little bit All right, I think we've lost uh, Claude there uh, for the moment. Um, sorry about that. Let's come back. See if Carl, are you still with us? I'm still here. I will, if, you, if you got me. So, sorry, Claude. I think we have a bit of a technical issue there. I'll just get you to finish. Can you hear me? Sorry. Yep. Yeah, we got you back. Sorry. Oh, I beg your pardon. Um, I'm not quite sure where you lost me, but you know, I was basically saying I think it's expensive for what you could argue is essentially a roll up of retailers, and, and yep. that's kind of the note I was going to finish on. All right, okay. So, what are you doing with it? Uh, for me, I I don't tend to love to hold retailers at all. So for me, it would be a sell. Okay. But that doesn't mean it's a bad company. Okay, fair enough. Carl, <laughs> what are you seeing? Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't think it's a bad company at all. I think it's actually quite a good company. I mean, there's, there's, as as Claude correctly su suggests, so it's a plus size retailer, um, but a big proportion of their sales is online. I think about seventy one percent now online. Uh, they do have some real sort of areas of growth within the business in uh, the US, in Europe, uh, in the Mid East, even um, some some really underserviced uh, areas of the world. And, and that's where sort of the, the upside, the X factor could come from uh, in terms of their bread and butter, which is their Australian operations uh, and some of the, um, uh, the bricks and mortar operations uh, clearly uh, struggling with what's going on with COVID. So I think if you look at the, the big dip in the chart, that's more to do with this explosion um, of cases, obviously on the East Coast. Uh, 
part of it is also the supply chain issues. So um, that's tricky. I mean, they did make a big move into inventory sort of uh, late last year, um, almost anticipating that something could go wrong. So that has helped them. Um, but margin pressures, I think, are the, the key things going forward. So uh, look, long story short, there's enough uncertainty here to, to keep this on away from a buy. It's, it, I don't think it's a buy. Um, looking at the price action today, very impressive. So, you know, big yeah. bounce today off what is, uh, you know, short, a well entrenched short term downtrend. It's 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 enough um, based upon that that bounce today. If we close near the highs, it's kind of a big if. So let's assume we close say around five dollars. Um, given the volume and the price action, I would suggest we've made a low. Um, but there's too much risk in the chart, and there's too much uncertainty around um, just what's going on with the business for me to call mm -hmm. a buy. So I think it's it's a hold. So I, okay. I guess people no doubt are listening who have it. I would hang on to it on the basis that there is a quality business there with some growth, um, but there's too much uncertainty. Okay, that's City Chic.